चलिए स्टार्ट करते हैं सो टिल नाउ वी हैव स्टडीड दैट व्हाट इज द रिलेशन इन फ्लो थ्रू पाइप इन एवरेज वेलोसिटी एंड मैक्सिमम वेलोसिटी सो यू एवरेज यू एवरेज is equal to v max upon 2 and we have studied that what is the v max in flow through the pipe it is 1 by 2 same what is the value of v max v max is 1 by 4 mu minus del p by del x R square. What is R? R is the radius of the pipe. So this is the relation. So U average. U average is equal to one upon eight mu. माइनस डेल पी वाई डेल एक्स आर स्क्वायर टेल मी वन थिंग दिस यू एवरेज इज कॉन्स्टेंट सो वी कैन इंटीग्रेट पी एंड एक्स इंडिविजुअली इज इट करेक्ट सो वट वट आई विल डू वट आई विल डू आई विल टेक दिस dx in this side and i will integrate it in fact i will take all the terms in this in this sides except p and i will integrate integrate this so what will happen let's see 8 mu u average upon r upon r square upon r square and this is dx rest of terms are constant so only dp and x so p is only the function of x so instead of del x i can write dx directly dx here one minus sign or you can simply put uh, minus sign here also minus dp so now we are going to integrate this and let's see what happen what is act dx is the uh, differential length of the pipe suppose this is the pipe and we are taking from 1 to 2 from any reference if this length is you can say from here to here this is x1 and from here to here this is x2 so we will take the limit and the length of the pipe is suppose l we will take the limit from x1 to x2 and this is the pressure pressure is vary from p1 to p2 so now if we, we will solve rest of them these are terms are constant these terms are constant so i will pull it out from the integral 8 mu u average from uh, divided by r square and integral of dx with limit x1 to x2 it will come x2 minus x1 and is equal to this is p2 minus p1 there is a minus sign is there so minus sign 
will multiply and it will come p1 minus p2 this is very simple mathematics integral and x2 minus x1 we can call it l so from this geometry it is visible that x2 minus x1 you can see here x2 minus x1 is equal to l so you can write that you can write very clearly that p1 minus p2 is 8 mu u average l upon r square so this is the relation p1 minus p2 is equal to 8 mu u average l upon r square if you want to write in the term of the dia then you have to put in the place of r dy2 so let us put that 8 mu u average l dy2 whole square and you will get 32 mu u average l upon d square similarly here one relation is if you remember darcy which uh, darcy equations so from the darcy equation you can write uh, p1 minus p2 upon rho z p1 minus p2 upon rho z is equal to this is from the darcy equation f l v square upon 2 z d so from here if you can calculate p1 minus p2 there f is the friction factor this is the friction factor so from here if you want to calculate this will come rho f l v square upon um, 2d and which you can write equivalent to this 32 mu u average remember this is u average l upon d square from here and here this is also u average so in this v this is nothing but a u average only so i uh, to avoid the confusion uh, i am writing u average is equal to v so 32 mu v l upon d square so just to avoid the confusion i am writing u average is equal to v there is no difference between the u average and v in these equations only thing is that uh, in this equation i have used u average and in this equation i have used uh, the v both are denoting the average velocity okay so i am just putting the v in the place of u average to avoid any confusion okay now what what i am trying to get i am trying to get the expression for f what is the friction factor value so here you can clearly see from this d to 1d is cancelled f is equal to 
here 2 will multiply to 32 and it will come 64 here 1 v and v cancel from l from l to l also cancel is it fine yes now what will remaining what will remain here the 64 this is the mu u average or b v v v will not remain we will cut and v is here d and Rho. So this quantity is a uh, inverse of Reynolds number. Reynolds number is rho v d by mu. So I can write f is equal to 64 by r. Very important. And this is valid only for the you know circular pipe. F is equal to 64 by 80. Sometimes in, in the examination directly asked what is the value of the friction factor and our number is given. So you have to put like this. Directly you have to put this equation. 64 by 80. Is it okay? So this is for the today's lecture. The next lecture we will uh, discuss a very important term that is called uh, shear velocity okay till then thank you good night